Question. DS. X plus Y equals what? Condition 1. X squared minus Y squared equals 25. Condition 2. X minus Y equals 5. Solution. Now we will solve this DS question using the variable approach. DS, two variables, question. Condition 1, one equation. Condition 2, one equation. DS question with two variables. Let the original condition in a DS question contain two variables. Now, two variables would generally require two equations to find the value of the variables. We are aware that each condition would usually give us an equation resulting in a total of two equations, one each from condition 1 and condition 2. Since we need two equations to match the number of variables, the equations in the original condition, an equal number of equations and variables, should logically give us the answer C. Let's apply the three steps suggested previously. Follow the first step of the variable approach by modifying and rechecking the original condition and the question. We have to find the value of x plus y. Follow the second and third step. From the original condition we have two variables, x and y. To match the number of variables with the number of equations, we need two equations. Since conditions 1 and 2 will provide one equation each, C would most likely be the answer. Recall three principles and choose C as the most likely answer. Let's take a look at both conditions together. Condition 1 tells us that x squared minus y squared equals 25. Condition 2 tells us that x minus y equals 5. We can factor the first equation using a difference of squares to get x minus y times whole of x plus y equals 25. If we substitute 5 for x minus y in this equation, we get 5 times whole of x plus y equals 25. Dividing both sides by 5 gives us x plus y equals 5. The answer is unique, so the conditions combined are sufficient. This is a simple question, but I'm proving that the answer is actually correct. You can just choose C in the actual exam. Both conditions 1 and 2 together are sufficient. So C is the correct answer. Answer C.